ever wondered how does a bee is able to see and look at small flowers and perform exact flight moves in and around these flowers? How many eyes do honeybees have? Furthermore, how do honeybees find blossoms so well? If you have seen how honeybees work or fly you will definitely understand how astounding little animals honeybees are. The honeybees' five eyes make up an urgent piece of an unprecedented sensory system. Did you realize the bumblebee's eyes can even assist them with identifying shifts in wind speed and direction? Stick with me as we dig further. Bumblebees have five eyes. Bumblebees have two sets of eyes, both performing different jobs. There are three eyes in the first set, which is called oceli. The oceli assist the honeybee with keeping up strength and control during flight. They likewise assist the honeybees with identifying predators drawing closer from a higher place. These are situated on the highest point of the honeybee's head. Osli is to gauge light intensity. The second set of eyes is two huge compound eyes. These eyes are undeniably more intricate and bigger than the osli. The compound eyes permit the honeybees to see shapes and shadings. Each compound eye is comprised of around 4,000 to 5,000 facets in working bees. There are around 8,000 to 10,000 facets for the male honeybees. The quantity of aspects Amatidia release upon the types of the bumblebee. Each small facet of the compound eye has its own focal point associated with a cylinder containing visual and pigment cells. These little visual frameworks are called Amatidium. The Amatidium gives a mosaic kind vision where every feature of their compound eye makes a peak. Would bees be able to see better compared to people? If we were to compare the resolution of the bees and human eyes as a digital camera, bees' resolution is just around 13 kilopixel. Humans' eye resolution is much higher, which is 576 megapixels. So, while honeybees will most likely be unable to see in higher resolution as people do, their vision is able to fulfill their own needs. What colors would bees be able to see? Do you know that honeybees can't see red? They are able to see UV light, blue and green. Even though humans can see more colors, bees have a much broader range of color vision. Since we realize honeybees can't see red, you may ponder, how do red blossoms pull in honeybees? The K is ultraviolet light. Their ability to see ultraviolet light gives them an advantage when seeking nectar. Many patterns on flowers are invisible to humans. These nectar bull's eyes are visible only to animals, such as bees, that have the ability to see ultraviolet light. This bee vision makes finding nectar much easier. In fact, some flowers such as sunflowers, primroses and pansies have nectar guides that can only be seen in ultraviolet light. Honey bees have hairy eyes. As we said before, working drones have 6,900 facets of every one of their compound eyes. Well, between a considerable lot of these hexagonal focal points, there are little hairs. These little hair are accepted to divert wind around the eye. Analyses have shown that these little hairs create a space of stale air around the eyes when the honey bees are in flight. This decreases the wind stream more than the eye by 90%. This cool component of the honeybee's compound eyes basically plugs the development of airborne residue and dust on the aspects of their eyes. Honeybees have eyes like a fast camera. The natural eye can recognize movement down to 1 50th of a second. So if a movement is quicker than 1 50th of a second, the natural eye won't get that. In the event that we are to look into a fan, we will not be able to capture the sharp edges of the blade. A honeybee can see multiple times quicker at 1 300th of a second. Thus, even though a honeybee's eye isn't just about as clear as the natural eye, their capacity to recognize movement is far better than that of the natural eye. This rapid vision is helpful when attempting to find blossoms while flying, especially when those blossoms could be tiny and possibly being blown around during windy situations.